Hey, I'm Dina, and I'm in Abruzzo, Italy. I'm Ashley, and I'm in beautiful London. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Life in the New Normal podcast. And if you're new here, here's a little sample of what you've already missed and what you can expect from us. You collect all these people, and you've set yourself up that way because you've done all this sh** for them, and all of a sudden, you don't want to anymore. <laughs> right? The seriousness and the agitation and the trigger, that's a you problem. That's not a them problem because they don't know all your triggers. Some of them do know the triggers, by the way. Uh, true, but some of them don't <laughs> want to do the work and they don't care. They're never going to do the work. I kind of have a feeling we're both going to be put in the pan today. So yeah, we are. Just, just a little <laughs> warning. I want someone to think I'm beautiful all the time and I want someone to... Let's... Oh, Mate. Why is sideways? I don't know. Seriously? Wait. But I'm very grateful for you, actually, yeah. even though sometimes it's painful. Mm -hmm. I also had like a black mother who couldn't cook, who didn't go to believe in Listen, God. I had a white mother that couldn't cook, so. Yeah, Sorry. but we don't expect <laughs> white women to cook. I'm just oh. going to tell you. <laughs> if we allow ourselves to be taken out of our character every time someone said something and we defend ourselves, we're acting like all of that is true. If you're somebody who you're going to be like, I don't want to lose my friends. I don't want to lose my family. Oh my God, everything's shifting. It's supposed to. And who I truly am is a man. And this is my voice. Nine months on testosterone. I can imagine because sometimes I have penis envy. I really do wonder what it's like to have a penis and use it. No, sorry. <laughs> okay. If you want to go down that road with testosterone, um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you grow um, uh, like a micro penis. When you are very little and you're being abused, you can only handle so much. So your yeah. body, your spirit, it like just, it leaves. My challenge was actually learning how to inhabit my body again. The doctor said you have three months, but definitely less than a year to live because the science behind mental attitude, changing the course, how your body reacts to stress and illness. I get to choose how I'm going to spend that time. You have no one to compare your story to because everyone that went through what you did is dead. It's like people who are, suffer from imposter syndrome work harder mm -hmm. to prove themselves mm -hmm. because they don't think they're good enough. I don't advocate ever for myself. So I'm mm -hmm. trusting in you to be that for me. Meanwhile, like I, I, if Brad Pitt asked me to negotiate his next deal, I could probably do it. The big bag movie studio doesn't scare me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to my own sitch, like that's scary for me. Will you call me faggot? And I was like, what? You don't mm -hmm. even talk to yourself that way. The thing of it is, is that I, I love the word faggot. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like if you give certain terms a lot of power to insult and deflate you, I feel like I've earned it. <laughs> are you recording? <laughs> yes, you are. Do you have something going on with your feet right now? Like what shoes are you, have you been wearing? That's funny. I'm literally holding my foot right now and scratching oh, my so foot. It shows you how powerful the energy is. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> that in eating disorders, just like the pursuit of thinness. For me, it right. wasn't about being thin. It exactly. was about like, just like quelling the voices in my, you know, head and, and the, the shame and the birth since being a burden and just shoving down all of those things that I had never really acknowledged and dealt with. Was there a point where you were thinking of unaliving yourself? And, and, and nobody knows. You, nobody, well, none of my friends know that. I know that. That's why I guess I've been beating around the bush and I've been prepping you. Are you willing to talk about that? Yeah. Okay. I absolutely love my family and stuff, but I really, I, there are days when I'm like, I did not sign up for this. What do you need in this situation? And I sat back and I couldn't answer the question. If someone wants to go to an intuitive, a psychic, don't come to me just for that. Squirrel, what, what? <laughs> but if it feels familiar, that feels comfortable because it's familiar. Right. And then we get confused because we're like, it's right. comfortable, but just because it's comfortable doesn't mean it's healthy. That's correct. That is exactly the distinction that is so difficult to see when you're in that. People think, they're not helping or they're not doing. You can help by taking accountability, going in and becoming a happier human being. 
Join us here each week as we unpack life in the new normal with a new hashtag subtle change profound impact from Coach Dina. To watch the video version of this and previous episodes, subscribe to Life in the New Normal podcast channel on YouTube. To get a little daily inspirational message in your social feed, follow us on YouTube Shorts, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Copyright 2020 Angel Baby Films. All rights reserved.